So um, the reason why I painted this painting, or I'm doing this painting, is uh, this theater, the Orpheum, has a lot of history. Um, when I was a kid, I saw this image of this, these two boys that were on the floor. It's a black and white picture. And uh, when I saw this image, it was very powerful to me. Uh, like the kid was on the on the floor and he was they, he looked naked. It looked like they had stripped his clothes, and the other kid looked like he was beat up. And there was a, a crowd of people around him, around both of the boys actually. There was a cop there. There was a looked like a lady and uh, like a couple and a bunch of people coming out of the theater, I guess. And that image was very powerful because. It looked like these kids had just gotten beaten up and stripped of their clothes and people were just standing around not doing nothing and uh, it was kind of sad and even even to this day every time I see that picture um, you know it's, it's very powerful I get you know I get kind of sad you know looking at it because it happened in 1942 1943 which was not that long ago and uh, to have a police officer just standing there over the kids like, you know, like they were trash was kind of sad. And history always repeats itself. You know, we're in 2020 now, and I feel some of these, some of these images that, that were taken in the, in the 1940s are, are appearing again in 2020. And some of this history was in my own backyard, and you don't see it that much. You don't see, uh, people talking about it you know it's like a our little secret kind of they don't, they don't teach it in school as much and I believe by me painting this this painting here on this theater because it happened right across the street you know it happened in the front of that theater um, by me painting that that building and people are gonna ask oh why'd you paint this theater this Orpheum the Orpheum theater it'll reflect back to to that story of those kids that you know they, they had no voice um, there was nobody there to protect them they even the cop that's there uh, was, was protecting them and even after they got beat up and, and and stripped from their clothes because they were just wearing these baggy clothes of wool clothes and it was like during the war you know it was their style and it was just because they're wearing this this fashion that was, you know, part of their culture or whatever, um, they didn't like that, and they, would, you know, they would storm into these cafes, into these restaurants, into these theaters. Uh, a bunch of servicemen storming a, a theater and grabbing you and, and dragging you out and stripping you of your clothes, and nothing gets done about it. And then you get arrested. You know, that, that's pretty sad. It happened 70 years ago, but it it, it destroyed a generation of like. Of, of Chicanos trying to be into the military, you know, they after after getting beat up and and, and kicked around, you think they're gonna want to join the Navy and all that? Of course not, you know. Um, you think that generation um, getting getting uh, arrested by cops and all that, you know, it, it it just it created this this culture of like you know hate the police, you know, hate the servicemen. It actually created gangs. It, 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 it made more gangs uh, in LA because they, they would gather around in groups to protect themselves from the servicemen and the police. So in reality, it affects people today because you know we have a bunch of gangs now. You know that's, that's a big gang culture, and it all goes back to some of these events that happened 70 years ago.